In this video we're going to show you how to use the auto wire number generator as well as uh, how to use the wire label feature of the constructor. We have a sample diagram we pulled in here. Uh, the first thing we want to do is uh, go up to the uh, auto generator button. We just click on this button here and a window will pop up. Uh, this is displaying uh, the different layouts uh, that are available. Uh, if we click uh, the different buttons here, it'll show a preview of what it's going to look like. So down below here, we have uh, the wire number format. Uh, right now, it's set to sequential number, but we can uh, choose to add a rung number along with it, um, a rung number plus a lowercase letter, uh, and some other options. We're just going to keep it on the sequential number here. And in the prefix, uh, we actually have a prefix set in this one. You don't have to. Um, we can have a prefix, a starting value, and as well as a suffix, and that'll actually be displayed on uh, down below here. So actually, if we added a suffix, you notice that sample changes. And then over here, uh, this is the type of separator, um, and it'll actually show you the sample also here. So just go through those different separator options. We'll just uh, keep a dash there. So we generate those numbers. So now we have some numbers being displayed in our uh, wire label boxes here. So now what we want to do is uh, show you how to set up the wire labels uh, section. So we go to the wire labels tab and uh, this is the area that uh, you'll actually choose a template. Uh, so if you go up to this button you can uh, select from some pre-designed wire label templates. We'll just select one of them from the list and it'll actually be displayed over here. You can actually set um, some different settings and create your own template by uh, changing uh, the different uh, paper margins and label sizes here. Uh, as you adjust these settings, uh, the template will uh, preview uh, your sizes and stuff over here. And then when you're finished, you just click Save As. You can type in your new label name or your new template name and then uh, hit, say, hit OK. And then it'll actually be displayed in this list if you want to select that. But we're just going to keep this one here, the Jet 35 from Brady. Click OK. So now that uh, we have our label template uh, being displayed here, uh, the next thing we need to do is generate the wire numbers uh, that we actually have in our ladder diagram. And to do that, we just click on this button here, and a window will pop up. And these are showing the actual wire numbers that we have available in our diagram, uh, and how many of those particular wire numbers are going to be printed. Uh, we can adjust those numbers if we want more or less. Uh, down here, you can click to change the, the font type. Uh, as well as the size. Uh, you also have some justification settings here as well. Click OK. And now uh, our wire numbers have been applied to our template. So at this point all we need to do is uh, just go and print uh, under file. Uh, we can also just show you briefly how to change the template. Just go back here and under the paper type you can choose a different template and then uh, everything will be adjusted accordingly. And this concludes our uh, wire label tutorial.